when you got married and I was in your wedding party yeah. and we went out to lunch. And up until that point, I thought, good for Adam. He's doing that creative thing. He's probably making 20 grand a year, just grinding it out. Like, good for you, buddy. This is great to hear. So I like, well, like, I was like trying to be nice. I'm like, buy you lunch. Yeah. And then you're like, you know, we were talking and he's like, actually, I'm doing like amazing. And you tell me like how you're doing. I was like, good Lord. Well, I will forget it. And then I saw Sam Hurd show up to your wedding yeah. in a Tesla. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> all right. And this is before like everybody's driving Teslas now. This is like, yeah. okay. Yeah. I didn't realize you're doing so well. Um, and I, I remember like in that moment, I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll just be a wedding photographer. Like I, that seems to be like the thing to do. Yeah. I, instead of like honoring the all of the experiences that I had had in life yeah. and the opportunities that I'd been given and really taking a step back and saying like, like what do people pay me for? Like, yeah. what's the, th like, what's the, what can I bring to this that might be new and unique? It's like trying to just like uh, be Adam Mason Jr. Mm, like isn't yeah. the, isn't the path forward. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody, it's going to look a little bit different. Yeah. And in this, the world that we live in, it can look a little bit different. And I would say even just probably in the last couple of months, have I been able to like figure out like, like what kind of like products and our services do we have like pack ser service packages does joy ethic have mm. that are unique to us yeah. that, you know, are reasons that somebody should, should work with us. I've only been able to really kind of wrap my head around that as we've made money, like sure. probably in the, in the last couple of months, as I've been able to sit back and think about it um, and figuring out like, I don't have to be a wedding photographer. Yeah. Like that's not, you know what I mean? Like there's all kinds of ways. So like what makes the the most sense and we've, we've honed in what makes the most sense for us. Yeah. Um, but that was a mistake early on where I was like, Oh, I've just got to do it mm, this way. Sure. You know, like, okay, so I yeah. need to go. If I'm not booking 50 weddings a year, then I'm not doing it. Yeah. You know, like I suck, you know, it's like, well, I mean, I try that. I, I learned some things from shooting some weddings yeah. that were great for me. And then, um, realized it wasn't going to fit into our family's life the way that I wanted to. So coming back to our values yep. and making decisions based on our values. I had a lot of therapy where my therapist told me like, look, man, like people are not happy in life and are burning out and depressed yeah. because we make decisions all the time. They're out of whack with our values yep. and uh, our personal happiness. Like we don't do the things that will obviously make us happy, mm. like spending time with our families and things like that. And we, 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 we like, We'll go out and try to serve our ego story, right? Yeah. Like I got to keep this image up looking good, this glittery image of myself that I'm successful and well-liked and on the right track. And my parents are proud of me and all this, you know what I mean? Yeah. When really all that can just be a trap. And it's like, well, like, no, what do you, you want to do? What yeah. do you value in life? You get one shot, you know, at this wonderful thing called being alive. Yeah. And how do you want to invest your life? Because at the end of the day, when you die, it's not going to matter how much money you have in the bank. Yeah. I mean, as long as you have enough to like, you know, take care of yourself and things. Sure. But I mean, you know, if, if you get to buy that yacht or not, yeah. it's not going to matter, you know. Yeah. But if you love your family, if you get to spend time with the ones that you love and you get to own your time, yeah. and invest it in the way, like maybe you'll get like really into crocheting in your 70s, dude. And like, that's your thing. And you got time to do that on the front porch and just not stress. And yeah. That's a good thing, man. That's a, that's a win. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that's awesome. I think that's a... That's a big thing with kind of talking about you seeing me and Sam, two people who mm -hmm. are in the grind. I was I was like about to hit my my what is I you know would be the stride until COVID. Sam was in his stride when he shot her wedding, and it's like, um, one, Sam is a celebrity, so he has like extra. I feel like he gets a little extra juice on uh than uh, the other kids, but yeah, like we, it's very easy to see us and be like, okay, yeah, I want that. I want you know, mm -hmm. what this affords me, all this kind of stuff. Um, and at the same time, you know, our reply and Sam would say this too, and you, you know, this now is like, Hey, you can have a fulfilled life right now, you know? And, um, like, and, and still make, um, what I would say is quote unquote, good money, you know, or money that serves your other values, your retirement or whatever the ultimate, like, Hey, I can do whatever I want with my time of, you know, not having to work or whatever. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, and again, like that's, a that's the goal. And it's, um, yeah. and all that's to say, it's like, I'd rather do that doing something that I kind of like than anything else, you know? Absolutely. And like, you don't, you didn't have to sell your soul to get anything you wanted.